Hey everybody, uh, Andy here with <clears throat> a stack of cards, all one player. Um, the only player collecting I've ever done, really, outside of a few Braves uh, kind of staples, uh, is early win. So uh, about a year and a half ago, almost two years ago now, I stumbled across a, this listing on eBay for like $8, I think. And that totally got me back into the hobby, just to be able to own a vintage Hall of Famer like that for under 10 bucks. Um, really did it. And then, of course, I discovered the YouTube community uh, shortly afterwards. So, um, anyway, going to get this card slabbed up just to have it protected. Um, same with these next two. And then I'm going to show you a stack of uh, already slabbed cards. And this won't be a long video because I just started this this year. And i um, going to try to have a copy of all of these cards maybe by the end of 2020. Um, but here's the 54 Bowman. Pretty sharp, actually, this one, I think, except for Edge over here, but cool card. You'll see in so many of these pictures, he looks like he's up to no good, and he probably was up to no good. Here's the 57 tops. I just, I left it in this sleeve where the seller scrawled all over it, but I paid $8 for this. And this is his way of saying it books for 30, price is eight. Excellent mint. We'll see how it, how it does. Um, all right, so let's just go kind of um, most recent to oldest, and then I uh, have one piece that I have not shown off yet. And it's not exactly a card. So starting with his last card, um, also happens to be a set that I'm building. Got the 62 here in an eight. Um, Great thing about early win is this is uh, yeah last card last tops card I believe. Great thing about early win is um, it's very affordable. So if you see any cards that you like when I'm going through these, just know that you can get on there and and find them um, fairly painlessly. So all right, working backwards here, 61. I actually have two copies of. I have a six and an eight. Um, you buy the buy the card, not the grade. This one is actually better centered, I think. Um, but they were not expensive, so I have both of them for now. I'm not sure if I'll keep both of them or, you know, may, may be content with just having one copy at some point. Um, missing 1960 right now, so that's one I'll need to pick up in the new year. 59, though, got the white back in a four. Uh, yeah, very, very affordable player to collect, um, vintage Hall of Fame player. A um, couple of 58s, and the difference here, the grades are pretty similar, right? But the team letters, so this one, that white socks is in yellow, and then on this one, it's in white. And I don't know what's more rare. I um, can't recall right now, uh, so I have them both for now, which is fine. Um, 57, I showed you the uh, 57 tops that I plan on grading. I don't have um, anything from 56 or 55. Uh, I have the 54 Bowman, and then I have a few 53 cards here. Speaking of Bowman, I've got his Bowman color. Shout out to Alex. This card is awesome. Again, looks like he's up to no good, but just sweet photography on this thing. That whole set, unbelievable. 1953 tops. I have two of. Um, this one is interesting. I mean, you know, look. This is this is what my wheelhouse is for vintage most of the time. I want it to be a well centered card and a well centered um, lower grade is fine with me because I don't I don't care if the edges and corners look like it's old. It is old, right? So um, this four though has like what's either a crease or it looks to me like a little tear right there. So the three is is actually a little bit nicer, um, presents nicer, I think. I'm not sure if I need to keep both of those or not. Probably one of my favorites right here, and um, one of the only 52 Tops cards that I own is this one. And just check out the color, the colors on this bad boy. Hopefully that shows up on camera. I know there's some glare here, but the colors on that thing are crazy. But what a... What an iconic set. And then we have his uh, rookie card, which I showed recently in a kind of a recap video. But again, the colors are striking. 
49 Bowman rookie. So I've got some, definitely got a few cards left to pick up. Um, not too many. And then the last thing I wanted to show was this uh, Perez Steel. Um, most of the autographs I own, they're not many. Most of them are just kind of PSA DNA, you know, authentic. Uh, this one, the, the auto has actually been graded a nine. So, so pretty cool. Um, that's my humble early win uh, PC so far. And i um, working on filling in some of the gaps this year, but I wanted to show off, you know, what I've got so far. And I appreciate you all watching. Uh, have a wonderful rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next one.